You don't know anything about what's coming. of this video was so impactful and so eye-opening to me that I wanted to share it with everybody and see what your thoughts were on it. Um, I hope to hear from you guys. This is Dan from MSS Enduralis. Thanks a lot for watching. In 2011, economist Kyle Bass interviewed a senior member of the Obama administration about its planned solutions for fixing the U.S. economy in trade deficit. Among the questions he asked was about the U.S. exports and wages, but the question itself was not nearly as important as the response he received from the senior administration official. In fact, this single seven-word response clarifies everything, explains everything, and leaves little else to discuss. We're just going to kill the dollar. There it is, the entire agenda in one short sentence. It explains everything we've been seeing domestically and globally. That one statement makes every other question irrelevant, or otherwise answers all economic questions and explains everything. Nothing else matters. I urge you to ponder that statement and all it implies. Doing so will provide you with the clarity to understand not only what is taking place today, but what is yet to come. It is important to note the specificity of the word kill. Stated in the active voice, it means an unambiguously intentional and deliberate act. The murder of our national currency, the United States dollar, is the ultimate agenda to be implemented under Obama. To kill our national currency will subvert the United States and destroy it from within. This begs a number of questions including what type of Americans would actually have as their objective the destruction of our national currency. To whom do they hold their allegiance if not to the American people whose life's work as well as the toil of our ancestors is represented in the form of wealth held in US dollars? Does this make any sense to us as Americans? The answer is of course no. By its very definition to kill our national currency is an act of high treason by those engaged in this activity. It undermines the very sovereignty and survival of our nation and will have a life-changing impact on every citizen in the U.S. It will also impact every nation and the people of every nation on the planet, as the U.S. dollar is presently the world's reserve currency. It is an act that should result in the filing of criminal charges against the conspirators a trial of their peers, and if convicted, a death sentence. It's that serious. According to my source, we are past the point of no return. We will not be able to stop what is coming, but must be wise enough to prepare and get out of the way. The murder plot involving the death of the dollar did not begin with Obama, but he and other conspirators have accelerated the plans, plots and schemes for its demise. The ultimate objective is to implement an international currency in tandem with a system of global governance. The problem is that most people are not thinking large enough, nor do they understand the magnitude of the lie. They are not seeing the larger picture as their focus is diverted elsewhere. For example, they focus on various tentacles of the octopus such as the gun confiscation initiative the DHS armament acquisitions and economic woes as independent and unrelated events. They are not. Meanwhile, others continue to adhere to or even perpetuate the dual party meme of governance, holding dearly to the notion that there is a practical difference between the Republican and Democratic parties. Have we not seen sufficient evidence that they are now of one party acting in concert with each other? They cannot see the collusion and backroom deals and continue to hope that the next election will finally change the unchangeable continuity of agenda. 
Most of the elected officials are on board with the subjugation of the United States to a global system of governance. Some are actively facilitating this agenda, while others are making nominal objections on the stage of political theater, whilst hoping to earn a seat at the global table. It's entertainment for the globalists, distraction of the masses, and diversionary fodder for the talking heads in the media.